the most powerful. Without me, crops will fail, diseases will eradicate our population, and frankly, <laughs> what would you do without me? I mean, come on. My inventions are the best you've ever seen. I can take the whole countries with one push of us. I am the most powerful. I am well. You need me. I am the reason you exist in this world. You need me for your food, for your clothes, just to come to church. You need me to pay your offering. You need me. Yeah, I am well. I am the most powerful because. Dala. <laughs> you need me. I am beauty. Without me, science will not come for anything. I just still need to look good. And all the wealth in the world still can't make you look good. You need beauty. Because of me, you can feel happy looking around. Because they have pretty faces. Yes. I am the most powerful because my beauty makes me influential. Yes, beauty is power. I am educated, therefore I am power. You need me because without education, there's no career, there's no money making, there's no... What? <laughs> I am power. I am the most powerful. I'm a celebrity. I've got wealth. I've got beauty, no paid for. Yeah, I have some education. And who needs science when you're a celebrity? I have people following me all over, just screaming my name, wanting my autograph. Even church people, instead of reading their Bibles and praying, they're spending so much money just to, to hang out with me. There are people all over who are just spending their days reading about my life. Who needs all this when you're a celebrity? I am the most powerful. <laughs> I am salvation. And my God is the most powerful. And without me salvation, there will be no hope. For the human race, there will be no hope for mankind. <laughs> all of you all are seriously mistaken. Just to prove it to you, I call out my triple R. Robin, the robust woman. Be. Oh, really, no. Robots, show all these people what science can do. Robot destroy. Robot destroy. Robot destroy. Destroy destroy Put us on the glass. Come. Come. Put Beauty.
I told you before, my God is the most powerful. And we are his creation, and he is the creator. And all of us are subjected to him. And it is only through a good relationship with God that you can experience what is true power. And that is the power to fight the enemy. The same one that is causing mankind to think that they're powerful because of science and wealth and their beauty and their education. But real power comes from God and from having a personal relationship with Him. So if you would like to experience true power and to know what it is to have a close relationship with God, I invite all of you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And I invite you to kneel and to pray with me and experience what is real power. Our Father who art in heaven, Lord, we come before you to surrender ourselves to you. Lord, we come before you accepting that you are the creator and we are the creation, O oh Lord. We ask that you move in our hearts and you move in our minds, that we may come to accept you as our Lord and our personal Savior, and that we remove all vanity and vain things from our mind, and we find pleasure in your word, and we find pleasure in your company, and we find pleasure in reading and studying your word and being work of speed. Please move in our hearts that we may be better people and be good Christians, and we will all make it to heaven where we will get to spend and finally see your face. This is our prayer. We thank you. Amen. So church, who got the power? Amen. 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 <laughs>